Hello everyone, I seriously hope you guys are doing well, especially the ones who had their exam today and I'm talking to AS math students, the ones who had P1 today. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of calls, um, you guys are asking me for my expected threshold and just generally about my review. So I thought I'll just make a video on it and just share it for with everyone who is interested in finding out. So a couple of things, number one. Yes, the paper was difficult, okay, from I haven't come across a single student who said that they found the paper easy. And I'm talking about variant 12 in particular. I'm not too sure about the other variants. I haven't looked into the comments in detail about the other variant. But as far as variant 12 is concerned, it was seriously difficult. From what I've heard, the first four or five questions were easy and then onwards it was difficult, okay. If that's the case, then it's okay, which it is, okay? I know that's the case because there's no debate about whether it was difficult or not. Everyone found it difficult. So that means there's no question about whether the paper was difficult or not. So number one, don't worry about it. So reason why I'm saying that is because you're not the only one who found the paper to be difficult. If everyone finds the paper difficult, you know what happens? I'm sure you guys know if you're in AS now, you've given plenty of exams by now, plenty of Cambridge exams by now, that the threshold is definitely lower, okay? Now, I've seen this happen multiple times where students give the exam and I have I have seen students that after giving the exam because it doesn't go so well they start they start contemplating giving a retake and even the same students who were initially contemplating on giving a retake end up getting a good grade in A or an A star even okay and I'm not, I don't mean by a good grade like a B or a C C is definitely not a good grade but I'm not even talking about a B I've seen this happen multiple times now that students who were initially considering on giving a retake end up with an A or even higher that means an A star okay I'll give you three examples number one the mini series paper, the May June 2020 post COVID, okay, uh, the July 2020 actually May June got cancelled, so they introduced mini series. Number two, the follow up series, the October November 2020 session. In that, the ad math paper turned out to be extremely difficult. Again, people were contemplating retakes, but then eventually, um, the grade threshold was such that you know they got a good grade. And then the next time I saw this was in May June 2022, and I'm talking about the ad maths paper. Okay, some of you might have given the ad maths paper. In fact, some of you messaged and said, sir, this was just a repeat of ad math last year. So I'm sure even then, if you compare your performance in that paper, and then if you look at your grade, I'm sure the threshold must have evened things out. And that's what I'm expecting this year as well. So this year, I'm expecting the threshold to even things out. The reason why I wanted to make this video, because I can tell that a lot of you are demotivated. And yes, it's natural to be demotivated for something uh, you work so hard for. And then if you don't get the result, it's natural that we get demotivated. So don't let this spillover effect. Don't, first of all, there shouldn't be a spillover effect. Okay. Like for example, this bad paper should not affect the other exams that you have. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of exams to go. In fact, um, this is probably just the start, right? So don't let one bad paper set the tone for your entire set of exams, okay? And don't let this have a spillover effect where you don't end up doing too well because you're too worried about what grade you're gonna get. Don't let that happen. Remember, you're not alone. Everyone found the paper difficult, which means it's inevitable that the threshold is going to be lower. And inshallah, inshallah, we will all be smiling on the result day. So that's it. That's what I wanted to say in this video. I wish you guys the best of luck for the rest of the exams. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.